Who goes to see your parents and all of a sudden introduction has been done he just comes up and says i had a strange dream i can't understand that's not the first time of having a dream but because of that dream you lose out on an opportunity brothers and sisters if you understand that life is spiritual you already without even understanding the nitty gritties you are already ahead of many people in life i will never treat my life from a scientific perspective no I will never treat ministry from a scientific perspective in the realm of the spirit one plus one is not two you have to define what one is you have to define what two is you have to define what other factors are in the equation we run our lives scientifically we run our lives intellectually sociologically and we become victims the book of job is full of mysteries that open up the reality of the spirituality of life when you look at the book of psalms david opened us to the spirituality of life when you read psalm 91 he starts by saying he that dwells in the secret place question where is that location today because david said a man can dwell there have you found it where is it like an address David is giving us an address where people can find safety and he never said a police station he that dwells somewhere there is a place a man can stand that you become immune he that dwells in the secret place of the most high then the second shocking thing is shall abide not under the light under the shadow what is that abide under a shadow that means your shadow has a spiritual implication this thing you look at li listen 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 i'm not talking of all this moving around you and let you fall down that's i'm talking of something deeper you know physics just tells us when light is casted on an object it creates a shadow that's as far as you know but the bible says men can dwell under a man's shadow 